Hey, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want to comment, Alex, on this? Uh, well, introduce yourself, Alex, because uh, you, you're a very important individual in this community. <laughs> I am. Uh, Alex Edelor, um I was not born here, but I came here when I was five years old. I love my community. I love the way you look. Gail, you, you, you and Don always talked about Stockton. I talked about Delano. It was uh, three, three years ago, I ran free basketball, and these kids were running around and, and calling fouls and stuff, and they see this, this uh, young adult wearing a shirt with a, with, a, with a last name that was very famous in Delano. I walk up to him and goes, hey, uh, do you know what your grandfather uh, is all about? He said, yeah, I kind of heard about it. And I, I was like, I was floored. I go, are you kidding? And so that night, I opened up the Philippine American National Historical Society national website and emailed them to ask, how do I start a chapter in Delano? Because I thought I was crestfallen that the, uh, the grandchildren did not, was not aware of their stories. Um, we were chartered in June of 2015, three months after I submitted the request. We were chartered by the National Order, the 33rd chapter. Three months later, we put on the 50th anniversary of the Lemon Grape Strike. And it was fabulous. Uh, we met Dawn. She was just, uh, she was that sister. She was the sister from Stockton. I was the brother from Delano and we, we shared stories. Uh, uh, I'm like gay a little bit. Uh, I reminisce and I wish my, my, this is my son, I wish my son and his peers uh, could have lived here in Delano in the 1960s. It was an extended community. Grace knows this. And, and we talk about the lonely lizard, the Manons. We were a nuclear family. My, my dad moved here. He had started our family in the Philippines, moved us here. So it was a mom, dad, sister, and me. So we had a family. And in Delano, we were the, the four Edelors, but then there was this extended family of Manos. They would attach themselves to families. They were looking for love. They're looking for affection. They're looking for somebody to buy clothes for, to start school. My Uncle Joe would come from Stockton. He was a monon. He was a distant relative of my dad's. He would come over in September to start work at the grape fields. And the first thing he would tell me is, Alcindor, let's go buy clothes. He called me Alcindor because I was tall, like Blue Alcindor from the UCLA. <laughs> and we'd go buy clothes so I can start school the next day. Um, uh, we had Christmas parties where we'd invite the Manongs from the camps. And we knew them like, like they were characters in a play. Like they were family members. Oh, you, you can't believe what Montalino did today. We're not related. But Montalino was a part of our family. Montalino was illiterate, so he would ask my mom to write letters home to the Philippines. So there was a give and take. And uh, for those of you uh, uh, youngsters here in Delano, it was such a rich community. Uh, you would run into the Manongs and, and, uh, and, and, and it, was just, it was just a safe place. Um, so, you know, our own family histories, uh, we, we're kind of remiss. We were wanting to do the oral histories that uh, Oliver had alluded to, but you know, my mom died two years ago. I wasn't able to, uh, to interview her. Uh, there were three women uh, who um, ran the, the, the kitchen at the Filipino Community Hall. They would cook for the strikers. Two of them passed away in the last year. A third one is probably not all lucid anymore. So 
you know, how can there be urgency in the history? There's urgency because we need to, we need to capture these stories before they, they die away. So I think you guys are here because you have an interest in history, you have an interest in your culture, and I, I thank God for you guys, but you guys have to fill the breach. You guys have to, have to step in, in, in the footprints that my parents set, and that hopefully my, the, the, the Land of Fonts organization will set. So I'm hoping you guys can fill, that, fill in those steps and continue the storytelling, continue the, uh, the realization that we are a people and a culture that matters. The problem with Filipinos, I, I can say this with, with all honesty because I am one, is that sometimes we don't like to rock the boat. Yeah, sure. Right? That was always our, our nature. Oh, you know, make peace, make peace, you know? We, we don't want to rock anything. And this guy, Larry Hitleon, rocked the boat. <laughs> you know? Thank God. And so, um, I did a college paper one time and it said, who's, the, who's your role model in life? And you know who, who my role model in life was? The grandfather that I never knew. He had died two years before I was born. But, and I love my mom for this. She told me stories at the dinner table about my grandfather, about what he did. I, he was a writer, I, I wrote. Uh, he, was, he was very calm in, in, in demeanor. My, my grandmother was, you know, don't get her mad. Um, but my grandfather was the peacekeeper. I tended to be the peacekeeper. And, and so when I was ruminating about who my role model was, he was my grandfather, and I never met him. But thank God for the stories that my mother told me. So, Gail, thank you for telling the stories about Larry and the things that you do. Jesse, I thank God for Don. You know what? Um, so here I am. I, I had written, a, uh, written to National Fonds for how to start a chapter. I get a call a month later from my, my good friend, Roger Gariano. He goes, Alex. I go, what? Um, I got a call from Don. OK, who's she? she expl he explains. He goes, what? He's, she's telling us that, that uh, we need to have our own celebration of the, of the grape strike because uh, the Chavez Foundation was having a big one at the 40 acres, but uh, you know, we were invited to that, that's great, but I think we should have our own. And I go, he goes, well, how do we do this? And I said, Roger, I'm starting a chapter of the Fonts Delano, and it's through that that we're going to able to we're going to able to organize the 50th anniversary, and it, it happened. Um, is there anybody here in, in, in that core group of Fonds Delano? If you're here, Suzanne Villarus, are you here? She's out there. Arlene. I went to Suzanne and Arlene because the V girls are are just awesome. I went to Ati Pintarok. Uh, I went to uh, to Max Becerra. I went to to people that I knew that that, that could accomplish. Linda Rabinov. And you know what? We got it done. There's, 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 there's. So I, uh, I went on too long. Gail, you started the, the, the tear fest. I mean, Gail, you started this tear fest. Uh, but uh, I just want to thank you for being here. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a wonderful day. If you guys want to wake up early, like 8.30 in the morning, Roger Gariano and myself will be leading bus tours to Delano to kind of explain to you uh, a little bit of what I, I told you about about Hadamanons uh, and how Larry and, uh, was able to, of course. I, I remember um, at the dinner table, my, my dad coming home and saying, hey, we just had a meeting with Larry, and he wants this. And, and I just, I remember the tension uh, that, that was in the dinner table. My mom was worrying about how do we, how do we feed the babies, how do we clothe them, how do we pay the rent in the, in the, in the car. And I just remember all the, all the chaos that, 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 that uh, was occurring. I was only 10 years old, but I can, I can sense the, the tension. So, um, so tomorrow we're going to do a bus tour of, of, uh, of uh, the, the strike-related events. One of the places <laughs> that is on our tour guide is, is Chinatown, which has been raised for, for, for a number of years. But one of these days, we're going to resurrect um, 
uh, the images from, from that time. That's where the moderns would, would party. And, and when I was in my 20s, we did cultural night. We went to and played poker or, uh, in, those de in those halls so just so we can be part of that culture. Um, we will have uh, uh, some, some celebrations and, and, and ceremonies at the Filipino Community Hall beginning after lunch, right? Come for lunch, we've got some taco trucks uh, starting at about 11 o'clock, yes. I believe. Right. Yeah. There you go. And then we're going to, yeah, and then um, you guys have to see Rob Bonta. Rob Bonta, we alluded to, is the assembly member from uh, the Bay Area. And it, it was he who uh, uh, has, uh, uh, wrote AB123. He wrote, he, he did a wonderful video tribute to the events and stuff. Um, the, the other Italy young uh, family uh, uh, will, will be there as many, many as we could gather. And we were going to, Give them a book uh, in, a, in a ceremony. I guess the school districts as well, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, so join us. And then uh, Saturday night's a big night. That's that's when you hear me rapping. No, <laughs> not really. Oh God. Uh, R Rocky Rivera will be there. The, like, like they said, and there's some entertainment. We have some local dancers, right? Yeah. Local yeah. dancers. Yep. Yeah. And some Brewster Stockton. Yeah, some Brewster Stockton performing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for being here, showing the interest. Alex, uh, that, that'll be an RFK, right? Yeah. After yeah. 3.30. Yeah. yeah, so after, after the opening ceremony at the Filipino Community Hall, in fact, the bus tours will start at Filipino Community Hall. So if you're interested and you signed up, go to Filipino Community Hall by 8.30. We'll be leaving. Um, and then Sunday, we'll have a mass set. Yeah, mass at Our Lady of Church. That's right. 10.30 mass. Okay. Um, and then after that, we Yeah, uh, and more then, tears, more tears. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more tears. But more importantly, we're gonna have uh, Filipino merienda, right? Filipino uh, yeah. Yeah. sweets. We're, we're and working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you for being here, and thank you for obliging me uh, for crying up here and, and uh, throwing my my guts out. So.